Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Chain. In today's video, we'll be looking at Solana and how we can use it. Now, why would you want to use Solana? It's because of its rapidly growing ecosystem along with its extremely fast transaction speeds and super low gas fees. It may currently be the fastest and most scalable layer one blockchain solution out there. All of this translates to a huge potential upside for Solana and a lot of opportunities for us. So now let's look at how we can transfer funds to Solana and use the different dApps that are being built on it. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Most of you watching may be familiar with Ethereum's ecosystem. So let's look at tools on Solana that are equivalent to tools on Ethereum. First up is the wallet. Metamask is the most widely used wallet on Ethereum. But the most widely used wallet on Solana is Solid.io. Next up is the Explorer. Solana Beach is the equivalent of Etherscan on Ethereum. Next up are the decentralized exchanges. Serum is the most popular decentralized exchange on Solana, followed closely by Radium. Mango Market is another cool project on Solana where we can leverage trade up to 5x on a fully decentralized platform. How cool is that? This is only possible because of Solana's extremely fast transaction speeds. Okay, now let's take a closer look at each of the components of Solana. The first thing you need to do is make a Solana wallet on Solit.io. We have one open here. This is a very simple process of just going to solid.io and it'll give you your 24 words. Every time you refresh the page, it randomly generates a new seed phrase. Choose one of the following 24 words and write them down on a piece of paper. Keep those 24 words safely. This is the key to your wallet. If you want to restore, then just click down here and put in your 24 words. Let's take this seed phrase for example. Click I have saved these words in a safe place and continue. Put in your put in a random password if you want or you could also skip this part and create wallet. Now you can see the coins you own as well as your address down below. Another way of creating a wallet is go to Serum. Click connect on the top right select solid.io and the 24 words should appear here just continue keep a password create wallet and connect and you should be good to go you can see your wallet address here it will open on the solana explorer you can also open it on the solana beach if you like the process of creating a wallet on solid.io is the same on PC, phones or tablets. Okay, now that we created a wallet and deposited funds into it via an exchange such as Binance, FTX, etc. Let's start using tabs such as Serum. Serum is an order book type of DEX. It means you need to match with a seller or a buyer just like all of the exchanges like Binance, FTX, Coinbase, etc. Serum also has a swap protocol just like Uniswap. But that's not used much and has low liquidity. So let's stick to the order book style on Serum. Here on the left, you can see your open orders as well as your recent trade histories. At the center, you have your order book. And on the right, we have our wallet balance as well as unsettled balance. Now, what's the difference between unsettled balance and wallet balance? The balance in your own wallet shows up on the wallet balance. Such as here, we have 0.5 SOL. But the tokens you just traded on Serum will be in the unsettled balance. So once I trade SOL for USDT, the USDT should show up on the unsettled balance. Let's try it out. Uh, suppose right now I have 0.5 SOL. Let us sell 0.1 SOL at market price. 0.1 at the market price. Sell. Here it'll ask for confirmation, approve, and the transaction is in. You can see the super fast speeds while I'm doing this. Now the trade is shown on the recent trade history. Down here, we can see in the unsettled balance, we have 3.5 USDT. It is currently not in my wallet. Now, how do I get it in my wallet? For that, I need to press settle 
and approve. Now the USDT has been transformed from my unsettled balance to wallet balance. The same goes the other way around. When I buy soul with USDT, then I'll have to settle soul to get the soul back in my wallet. I hope it's clear. You can see your recent trades here. If my transaction hadn't gone through, you could have cancelled the order as well. And remember, always keep some soul in your wallet to pay for the fees for every transaction you make on Solana. Soul is the native currency of Solana and all transaction fees are paid in Sol. Though the fees are much much lower. That's it for Serum. Now let's take a look at Radium. Radium is another popular DEX on Solana that is more focused on the swap and pool type of trading just like Uniswap. You can also use their order book style trading if you like but the swap feature is preferred. Just click connect, select solid.io and then connect and then you're good to go. Now that we covered the most popular DEXs on Solana, let's look at another cool project and that's Mango Market. Mango Market is a decentralized perpetual market where you can leverage trade up to 5x. So if you deposit $100, you can buy BTC or ETH worth up to $500. The trading experience is similar to what we saw on Serum. Once you make the trade, you need to settle your balances down here. Once you open a position, all your positions info will appear on the right side. You can see your equity, leverage, profit and loss as well as collateral ratio. Also fair warning, if you have no idea what leverage trading is, then stay away from it. It is very easy to lose all your money in leverage trading. So please learn about the risk involved before putting any of your money into it. Also remember, there are only three pairs you can trade here, Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT of course. So you'll have to sell your soul on Serum for USDT and deposit USDT on Mango Market if you want to use it. So now that Mango Market is covered, let's look at the Explorers aka Solana Beach. Another popular explorer for Solana is Explorer.Solana. But I find that Solana Beach makes it a lot easier to understand what's going on in the transaction compared to Solana Explorer. So I'll be sticking to Solana Beach here. Let's take our address. Copy our address and paste it on Solana Beach. Here you can see the transactions I made for this video. First, let's look at uh, the order transaction. Open the transaction up and you can see that I sold so 0.1 SOL for 35.137 USDT. All these random transactions which makes it super confusing. So please ignore it. Just know, just look at the top part where you can see the price as well as the quantity that you sold and the fees you paid for the transaction. When you open your wallet, you can see your SOL balance on top. And if you want to see your other portfolio, just click the portfolio and you can see the remaining Solana tokens in your wallet. Right now I only have USDT but suppose I buy Ray then Ray should show up here as well. You can also see what you settled for example here this transaction where we settled the USDT to transfer it to our wallet. We can see that we transferred 3.5 USDT to our wallet. SPL is what ERC20 is for Ethereum. So that's basically how you use Solana Beach. I can't go into too much detail here because it'll take a long time. So this is the basics. If you'd like a standalone video on Solana Beach or Solana Explorer, let me know. It's it's uh, I, I'll be honest, it's super confusing even for me, but I can get the hang of it. And Solana Beach makes it a lot easier compared to Solana Explorer. Now that we have a basic idea about Explorers, let's look at some upcoming projects and tokens on Solana. First, we have Soul Starter. It's a launch pad just like DuckDuckDAO, TrustSwap, Polka Starter, BSC Pad, etc. I think this will boost up the Solana ecosystem and we will soon see a lot more projects launching on Solana because of it. You can check out the social as well as medium posts if you want to know more about them. Now, the hidden gem 
a brand new token that isn't even out yet and that's step finance it's a token called step that will be launching on serum on 24th april so keep an eye on it you can access the dex through their dap here first let's enter the dap click connect select solid.io and connect and you are in here you can monitor your portfolio and uh, you'll be able to trade step here on their trading platform on 24th april step finance is a dap that tracks your wallet positions and aggregates transactions from all of solana smart contracts into one place since there are very few native solana projects right now i believe step will perform very well during its launch so keep an eye on it also nothing you see in this video is financial advice so please do your own research that's about it for this video there are a lot more projects on solana such as orca here we have orca which is another decentralized exchange and hedgehog which is a prediction marketplace built on solana both of which i'll link down below along with everything else that we talked about in this video so do check the description out that's it for today i hope you found this video helpful in your journey into the solana ecosystem do consider liking and subscribing for more crypto related content goodbye